Well, hi, welcome to Schenectady today in and around the Capital Region. And if you notice the fireworks, it's because our 16th anniversary. We have been on the show 16 years bringing such wonderful, <laughs> such wonderful guests to our, uh, to our stage and to you, our community. Uh, all of these guests make our uh, community a better place to live in. They're working very hard for many organizations. And uh, this, we're only going to be talking about a few today. Okay, with me I have Jeff Smith. He's with uh, Colonial Home Inspections. And uh, the reason I invited him on, because sometimes you just don't know what to expect when you're having your house inspected. We think about an inspection, you know, when you're going to go to sell your house or when you're going to buy one. But may not be a bad idea to have your house inspected during the process of owning a house, right? <laughs> well, yes, it's a real good idea. Um, I learned a lot. It was like I was like, really. <laughs> it, when people buy a house, they uh, usually buy with emotion. They uh, they fall in love with it. Um, as a home inspector, what we do is we walk in there and we have no feelings on the home. You have no attachment to it. Yeah, I, it's, we will tell you everything good about it and the not so good things. So we'll make recommendations to you and we will talk about different ways of correcting problems that are there. Um, there are numerous problems you find in homes that builders will take shortcuts or um, they didn't think about uh, building the site up where the where it could be drainage a, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, things drainage like or reverse grade uh, where the house water's all running but towards the foundation. But sometimes you can't correct those things once they're there, right? Oh, well, you can. There's okay. things you can do uh, with a reverse foundation. You can put swales in, uh, and a swale is basically big hill to oh to drive the water yeah away, to yeah. direct the water in another direction away from your house. Hopefully not to your neighbor. Well, hopefully not, but. Um, <laughs> There's a, there's a saying uh, all the home inspectors have is uh, the two things you always want to give to your neighbors are the wood destroying insects or the pests and the water. <laughs> but um, no, in all, in all seriousness, there's always ways of correcting problems. Um, and when you, when you get right down to it and um, look at it, it's, there's nothing that's really unreversible. You can probably correct almost anything. You, you can correct almost One anything. One of the things you do, which is rather interesting, and I'm sure there may be others that do it as well, is this infrared that you don't really bore a hole in, that, in anything to find out. So how, how does that work? Well, thermal imaging is, um, is new to the field. Uh, it's been around probably five. I've been using it six years. Um, and what it does, it basically lets me give the house what I call an MRI. I can look inside it without disturbing anything. Uh, with a home inspection, we're a non-intrusive inspection. That house is ha has to be uh, left th in the same condition we come in there. We're not supposed to uh, pull alter out, anything. Alter anything that's moving, insulation, or 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 anything. So what I found is with the thermal imaging, this lets me find a lot of uh, electrical hotspots, uh, moisture penetration, um, pests that uh, are living inside. Uh, I, found, I find snakes, bats, squirrels, chipmunks. And they're not even paying rent. No, no, they're not paying rent. They're, a matter of fact, they're actually, they're actually costing you a lot more money than you right. think because they're making, uh, they're chewing on wires, they're making nests, they become fire hazards. Mice, squirrels, and chipmunks are one of your worst things to get inside your house because they will chew on wires. Now this is the time of year that they seem to want to find a new location. Yes, they're looking to get out. Uh, once, the, once the cold weather starts hitting, they're looking for a warm, warm spot. That's why you'll find them starting to come into houses or you might uh, have vehicle problems where they actually get caught uh, crawl up inside and get into your uh, inside of your vehicle oh, or, really? or in your uh, air filter. That's a that's a big thing. That, air um, filter. I would have thought they they get in there because the warmth from the engine. They get in there when that, right after you park. And you don't even inspect cars. No, I don't inspect cars. Um, <laughs> but the thermal imaging. Yeah, no. The thermal imaging will let me detect different things like that. I've been I've been called by. Um, well, the, just last week I did an RV uh, that had a um, air conditioning leak and they couldn't find it, couldn't find it. 
Well, I went in with the thermal imaging, and we found it. You found out what it was. So it's really a non-intrusive way of checking things. Um, would I, I know that people, when they uh, they buy a house, they like to have someone. Do, do you hire your own inspector, or do you rely on the inspection from the homeowner? You um, well, it depends. Um, if the house is pre-inspected, you could go by the pre-inspection report. But the, as a home inspector, we work for the person that hires that us. That hires you, okay. And by, by doing that, we will come in there and you, will, you, should, um, you should get a detailed report okay, that has uh, pictures on it. It shows any, any problems, should show your appliances that are working. Um, it should tell you about any uh, things that aren't working. Uh, it should let you know about your roof, the age of your furnace, uh, the uh, actual um, structural uh, foundation, see if there's any um, structural issues at all. Uh, in the attic, make sure you have the adequate amount of insulation up there. Make sure it's uh, well ventilated, there's no mold in your attic, there's no mold in your basement. Um, but now when, suppose I want to buy a house, we're almost out of time, suppose I wanted to buy a house, would the owner allow me to have you come in and check? Yes, what, what happens is uh, the home inspector is the last person that the home buyer hires. So they have to let you, you check. Okay, you make, uh, you make an offer on a house and it's contingent, contingent on, on, an inspection. Uh, on an inspection. Then we go in there and we do our inspection, we get the report to them, and lawyers are looking for a $1,500 uh, problem. $1,500 is the threshold where they can go back in and renegotiate a price or maybe the, if it's a safety issue, usually the homeowner fixes it yeah, immediately. Yeah, and you're done. Okay, good. Well, you've learned a little bit about home inspections and it may be something you might want to consider now or in the future. It's not a bad idea to find out. You know, we go in for a medical checkup every so often. It's not a bad idea to have a checkup on your house, I don't think, but that's my own opinion. And uh, there are many inspectors out there and uh, Jeff is only one of them. So, you know, take, take an opportunity to find out what's wrong with your house or maybe there's nothing wrong with it. And you can say, wait, there's yes. nothing wrong. So thank you so much for thank being you, here. Anne. And uh, you can check my website to find out how to contact Jeff if you'd like to.